Hey, Slim here. I'm getting unloaded in Remington, Indiana. I'm going to pick up somewhere in Illinois, and I'm going somewhere to South Carolina. So, um, miles are good. Normally, I got a lot of drop and hook freight, but this time I'm actually um, doing a live unload, so that kind of sucks. But, so, you want to know about the Werner woman and how I got in trouble with the Werner woman. So, um, story goes like this. I was talking on the CB radio. I talk on the CB radio all the time. I shoot the bull, and I was just telling some stupid story about how I wrestled an alligator out of my grandparents' pool down in Florida. Um, a lot of truck drivers share bull crap stories all the time. So, but, um, you know, I was, so I was telling that story. And uh, we were getting, you know, there's this lady that came on there and she started talking and she was Werner. She drove for Werner and I, I hope she never sees this video of me telling the story. But uh, so, well, we were going on 55 and uh, we were talking about where we were going to go and, and everything. And she's like, yeah, I'm going on 55 on up to uh, Wisconsin or something like that. I can't remember. Don't hold me to it. Some of you are going to pull out your atlases and be like... 55 doesn't go to Wisconsin. It's nowhere close, you know, so just calm down um, But um, so I was like well, we were getting off the place where 55 goes off There's an exit to 57. So I was like well, I got to get off here on 57 Because I'm going this way towards Chicago and she's like, oh, yeah, that's right I got to get off on 57 so she followed me off 57 so we drove there another another little little ways and I was still working for Maverick at the time and she's like and I just kind of quit talking and I didn't have you know so she's like why'd you quit talking Maverick and I was like it's like well I guess I just ran out of stories to tell and so we were just kept on driving and we talked a little bit more and then you know and I'm the kind of dude I can talk to anybody anytime any place anywhere like I, I can just shoot the bull with anybody so we're getting off and finally I'm, I'm running up on my rest area break and uh so we are, I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, well, I got to pull off at this rest area. I got to take my 30 minute break. And she was like, I got to go pee. And so she, I pulled off at the rest area. She pulled off at the rest area. And I'm scared. I'm scared she's going to like have like a knife or something and like come over to my truck. So I got out of my truck really quick and like went over to the bathroom. And um, so once I made it over there to the bathroom, um, I, I, I came back outside I sat under the tree and I saw her get out for the first time and dude her tummy was sagging the floor bro and I'm not even kidding you man like it was just it, everything you think it would be in a woman truck driver that's what it was it's, you know just a cliche um, so uh, and it's nothing against like you know if beauty's in the eye of the beholder um, more power to you you know if you if you like whatever you like or you want you your appearance to be whatever you want it to be but that doesn't negate the fact that what I think uh, what I think it is so but anyways uh, so I, I got I got real nervous so she came over she started talking to me and I don't remember nothing she said all I remember was saying yep uh-huh yep and so I stood out there for about another 15 minutes um, 25 minutes went by I was like well I got to get back in my truck and uh, head on out of here. So she's like, yeah, me too. She never used the bathroom. I guess she used it in her truck. I don't know. Um, so she got back in the truck and then like she pulled out. I let her pull out in front of me and uh, she left. And then I waited another 15 minutes and then I left. Um, moral of the story. Watch out who you talk to on the, on the CB radio. Uh, there's a kind of some weird people out there so uh yeah be careful uh if you're like me i talk to anybody but uh just watch out so slim out y'all have a good one be safe um if you're thinking about truck driving do it man it's awesome i love being out here miss home but i love being out here i'm in this quiet little town in remington indiana there's like a pond and there's a bunch of geese out here uh, it's just real peaceful and quiet, you know, and I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm looking around and it's just there's not a lot of people here There's not a lot of trucks here. It's just um, It's really nice and there's like these little windmill things that are going around like this like the wind energy Things and it's pretty cool. So All right, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good and uh, peace out